sometimes silence speaks better than words. I've just rocked up at Industry. Um, this is the cafe near to work, which has agreed to make coffee and bring them out to me in the park carping, parking where when I phone it through uh, to save me going in and because I can't carry it, um, I've used it before and I've just rocked up and their disabled parking's right outside the door. Obviously my car's got personal trainer on the side and this guy standing there beside me um, looking, looking the car up and down in a judgmental fashion with his hands on his hips. Um, now, if I'd have spoken, I'd have said a lot of really inappropriate things. He didn't say anything to me, but if he would have, he'd have heard from me. Instead, he just stared at me. So I got out, got my crutches out, went into the, into the industry to pay for the coffee. And on the back of my shirt today, it says, I don't need two legs to kick your ass. So I thought it very apt that I just turn around and leave him standing there thinking about it. Yes. Because of that little incident, I would like to talk today about body image. Now, I don't just mean self, I mean perception from the world and all that sort of thing. So, for example, um, a personal trainer. If you say the name personal trainer, a lot of people will think of the cliche industry idea of being young, athletic, fit, it, that sort of thing maybe bodybuilder, maybe runner athletic, I'm not sure. But either way, that's what a personal trainer mental image usually is. We can blame social media and uh, the media industry for that because that's how it used to be marketed. You know, the perfect body type, I want to be the perfect body type. That does not necessarily mean that if you're not that, you can't be a personal trainer. Equally, if you are disabled, does not mean that you have got some physical disability that people can see. I obviously do, but not everybody has um, a physical disability. So for example, autism is a disability, but it's not a physical one. And there are a whole lot of others that are like that, heart conditions and those sorts of things. You can't see it on the outside. That does not mean that the person is not disabled. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is because I'm getting judged on both of those counts. Um, I park in a disabled spot. My car has got a personal trainer on the side. So people look at me sideways and think, oh, what is she parking there for? She can't possibly want need to park there. I even had some hating haters comp type comments way back before I lost my leg when I had a disability card because I was struggling to walk. And there were there used to be a group, um, local group where you can post um, pictures of bad parking. And apparently my car ended up in one of those groups because the disabled personal trainer was parked in the disabled spot. And how can this possibly be so? Uh, and it really angers me because there is not just one way to look at people. There's not just one way to perceive things um, outwards and inwards. So a disabled person may look brave and, you know, um, make jokes of it and things like that and make light of it on the outside doesn't necessarily mean they're feeling like that on the inside. So the guy that um, I mentioned earlier, who was looking at me sideways at, from uh, when I was inside the car, I was not particularly feeling like ha having an argument on that day. I would have got out and started an argument, but had he provoked me, I would have. Now, you don't know what that person who's um, in those shoes, you don't know what path they've walked. You don't know how they've got to that point. That guy did not know that I've gone through s several surgeries in a very short space of time, that I've been in hospital quite a long time, that I've had a large fight mentally, physically, and also legally to um, get through all of this. That guy didn't know that. Um, equally, he didn't know that I did or didn't have uh, a foot. But what business is it of someone else to be judging people like that just because that's where the car is parked? What business is it of yours to pass judgment mentally or physically on someone else because they are disabled? It is not your business. It is their business alone and that is all. The same with personal training. I am tired of people saying um, that they don't want to go to a gym because they're afraid of that environment. And that's how the customers get to us because they don't want to go there. They don't want to see the perfect body, blah, 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 blah. That's how we get our customers. But there's the flip side of people that think, unless you're perfect, you can't possibly be a personal trainer. It's a massive discussion point. Um, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on that because uh, just because I've lost, lost a foot does not mean that I can't kick your ass like my t-shirt says. Like that. So 
I would love to hear what you think about all of this because it makes me feel really cross that people impart their incorrect judgments on others and other situations when it's actually not their business at all. What are your thoughts? Thank you.